Hello there, my name is Cheryl Force and it is my pleasure to welcome you to Booking for Bucks. You might be saying, okay, what is this about? It's a different name, what can I expect? I just showed up wondering what we're gonna do tonight. Well, what our purpose for this tonight is to give you back-to-back -back content on how other consultants in the business are getting parties on their books and going after their targets and therefore the profit that they want to make with Pure Romance. What you're going to find is we're putting the best of the best in front of you. You're going to see some new faces, some people that are making it happen and getting it done. And then you're also going to see some of our tried and true, those familiar faces, those people that you know are working their businesses on a regular basis. So first, what I want to ask you is, what about you? Why did you show up tonight? Tell me in the chat, what are you hoping to get? What does your business need most right now, right? And I want you to use that chat of our, our, over our time with us um, to really tap into what's working for you. Where do you need help? Toss out a suggestion and you will likely get a suggestion back. We have a number of segments that we're gonna walk you through. All of the key areas of how do you get the business that you want and get it scheduled and solid how do you actually work with those individuals that are committing to holding a party with you, whether that be in person or in the online world, right? Doing it virtually. And then how do you work with people if they're not gonna book a party with you today that you go for that order? Now, I know we're gonna put a lot of content in front of you and I know you've already now given us some thought. What does your business need most right now? So we have a great schedule we put together so you get to see what type of content that you can tap into. We love it if you can be with us the entire time, but we also know you have busy lives. So if you wanna come in and literally tap into that segment that you need most, then we invite you to do the same as well. And then you know, we're all about replays here, so we're gonna make sure this content is available to you so that you can go back and watch it again and again if you missed anything, or if you need to dip out, right, and deal with life and come back later, you certainly can watch it later. So let's take a look at some of our content that we're gonna have over the course of this evening. You're gonna have things like, of course, how you make money with Pure Romance, let's set those targets. How do you work with calendar control in your business, right? So you're holding parties when you want to hold parties, when they fit into your schedule. Um, maintaining an ongoing connection with those leads, super, super important, and you know that's where it's at and where it's gonna lead you to future business. Booking parties from parties. Man, I will tell you what, we've been on the road for the last couple of weeks and this is one that I see people that are like, I'm holding parties, but I've forgotten those tried and true techniques of how to get parties from parties. You know, Patty Brisbane always said to us, our founder, she always looked at the current party as her audition for the next party and then the next party. So we want you to look at the same way, but we're also gonna give you some tips on how you get those parties booked from parties that you're holding now. How about an eye story? Have you dusted off your eye story? Or maybe you are brand new to holding parties and you're like, I don't know if I have an eye story. Every single person has a story with Pure Romance and we're gonna show you how you put yours together so it literally does the selling for you. It's a powerful tool you need to be using it on a regular basis. Um, of course, giveaways. We love giveaways and how to use Canva, right? Um, we know that you're creating a lot of your own assets so they're personal, so we'll give you the basics on how you navigate through Canva. Super easy, great tool that you can knock out a bunch of assets in just a few minutes. Um, and then of course, you guys know what we're all about around here. Products, products, and more products. So why don't we put some new products in the mix? So we'll hear from Erin Harris, and she will share what that product development team has got in store for you. We've got even more coming to you tomorrow, so even more topics. So if you're like, should I come one night or two? Yes and yes, right? But again, we'll give you the schedule so you can tap in to the content and the segments that's gonna be most impactful for you. So let's get rolling. Let's talk about what your targets are here at Pure Romance. I'm a firm believer that each and every month, consultants should start with a good picture of what they want their month to look like. How many parties do you wanna hold? Or 
how many orders do you want to have? Now this system called the 4321 system, right? Hopefully you've heard of it before. We've got t-shirts around. We've been touting the praises. And what I love about it is when we're walking into rooms and we're working with consultants that are either launching their business or relaunching their business, it's giving people a path to get rolling. So what this means on the party side is that you're booking four parties, holding at least three parties, because not every single party is gonna hold with you, it's just the nature of the game. And when you hold at least three parties, most consultants, although it might vary, but most consultants find they'll sell about $2,000 in the month, right? And then with all of those parties that you're at, those three parties, you will have a pool of leads of people who are probably gonna be interested doing what you're doing, helping people with product, right? And making some extra money along the way. So the one stands for adding one person to your team on a regular basis. So you're gonna book four parties, hold three, sell about $2,000 in that month, and add one new person to your team. Now remember I said these are targets. Not every single month is gonna look exactly the same for you. Now you might also say, well, I'm not into holding parties in person yet. Okay, girl, we got you. The system works for you as well, even if you're selling socially or only person to person. So what it's gonna look like for you on the order side is you're gonna do four online orders a week, all right? That's going to give you at least three virtual parties that we want you to put on the books. Yes, people are still holding virtual parties and making it happen because why? That's putting you in front of people and talking about product. That gives you about $2,000 in sales each and every month that you're doing that on a consistent basis. Remember, some months are gonna be higher, some months might be lower, but this is about targets. And then you know what the last one stands for, the one, adding one person to your team. Because think about how many people you're gonna be in front of. So four parties a week, doing three virtual parties in a month, selling about $2,000, and adding that one person to your team. Now, if you're more experienced and your targets are a bit higher, you can scale this, right? But I want you to have a number of what you wanna go after. And then, when you can associate that number with potential profit that could roll into you, that's where it gets powerful. Because look, when you're sitting in front of your phone and you're thinking about sending that next text message or actually making a phone call, I know they really do actually still call out. Can you believe that functionality is still there? Use it, it works. Um, it's how you make the best connections in this business. But that phone can feel really heavy if you do not have strong targets in front of you connected with how much money you wanna make. So I'm gonna put up a couple charts and I know you guys love charts and graphs. Just stay with me for a moment here. These are two powerful things. And if there's only a couple pieces of information you tune into, it's a win. The first one is a snapshot of how you can get to between seven and $800 in profit a month. Now, as you can see, here's the numbers I want you to tune into. The first one is social selling. So you're gonna do 22 orders in a month. The middle column is parties and parties only, right? So that means you're going in person, you're in front of people, and you're doing roughly three parties in a month to get you to that level. Or the last one, and this is where we see most consultants have their greatest amount of success, is when you're combining parties with that person to person or social selling. This one shows two parties in a month. I know your party total went down, it doesn't have to, right? But just showing you the power of the blend. Two parties in a month with just eight outside orders in a month gets you to that seven to $800 that you're making in a month. Look, these numbers are powerful. We showed you in the rest of this information in these examples how we got to those numbers, but if all you tune into is this is the amount of business that I'm gonna go after to make potentially this much profit, that's where it gets really, really powerful because you're connecting your why with what you're doing. And when you do that, ooh, nothing can stand in your way. All right, the next one, let's say you wanna scale it. Let's say you're wanting to make more like 14 to 1500 in a month. Well, your orders are gonna double. You're going from 22 orders in a month to 44. And guess what also doubles? Your parties double. You guys are getting this. You're moving from three parties up to six if you're only doing in-person parties. And then lastly, four parties with 14 outside orders will get you to that profit amount on average, right? But let me tell you, I know there's always people out there that want more and more and more and more. So we can scale this again. 
Let's say you go from 22 to 44, up to 66. You guys are following me now. This is gonna give you roughly two to $3,000 in profit in a month, all right, at those 66 orders. Now, you might be saying, 66 orders in a month? Yes, we do have some people that are working their business that consistently that they have that flow of orders coming. Actually, a number of consultants take that number and they know how much in retail they should sell each and every day to stay on track to hit their targets. On the party side, you went up to nine. You guys have followed us. Three, six, nine. This is simple. Even though these numbers on this chart, you're like, oh, charts, now I get it. So super simple. And then the last column, parties and social selling combined together. You're doing a total of six parties or 20 orders with it to get to those profit numbers. And I know you guys, you wanna see one more. Now, if you're brand new in the business, this might be a little bit more aspirational for you, but no, depending on your goals, and your goals are your goals, that's why we talk about your targets, you can double this all again, right? And add some more orders to it, add some more parties, or do a blend of both. So now we're up to 88 orders in a month. That's getting you up to that 3,000 to almost $4,000 in profit level, right? 12 parties in a month, again, it's gonna get you up to that almost 4,000 in profit level, or eight parties in those number of orders, right? Getting up to 26 orders. So the reason why I wanted to show you these examples right out of the gate today is because I want you to be thinking about when we say, how many parties do you want to hold next month, right? That you have it connected with the potential profit that can roll in. Because then I think you can say, is it worth having my nails paid for? Is it worth paying off my car payment, right? Just with my pure romance profits. And for some of you, you're like, hey, it may go towards my rent. Whatever this money is going towards, I want you to know what's the why behind it and how much business it's gonna take in order for you to get there. In its simplest form, 4321 is where most consultants start. It is a great way to get your business up and running do that consistently for a few months, and then you get to decide, do I scale it from there, or am I always successful playing out that formula of four, three, two, one. All right, next up, we are going to take a look at how do you actually schedule this amount of business into your calendar? So we're gonna talk about calendar control with the master at calendar control, Stacy Berkheimer. Hey, Stacy Berkheimer here to talk to you about calendar control. Let me just tell you, nothing builds more confidence and security than knowing when you are available to work your business. So, you know, first and foremost, I want you to know you have permission to choose whenever you want to party. Do you want to do more weekday parties? Then that's what you do. Do you want to do more Friday, Saturday parties, guess what? You get to choose. The only thing that I'm gonna tell you is that using calendar control planning is, is so important. There's nothing worse than you know having somebody request a party and you have to tell them, oh, I'll have to get back to you so I can give you my dates available. So I'm gonna, I wanna kinda talk to you more about you know being prepared um, and I think you'll really see a shift in your business. So listen, if you guys have not explored, there is an open date calendar out on the online office. We will drop the link here. Um, and we're gonna show you my um, calendar for this booking blitz. Now, the cool thing about not only do you get to decide how you're gonna work your business, when you're gonna work your business, is by using an open date calendar, you're not at everybody's beck and call, right? You are scheduling based off of your availability, based off of the needs of your family, of your social time. Um, now that I work pretty much a full-time job, you know, I really have to be, um, I have to be proactive with my time. Meaning, yeah, I pretty much live by a calendar right now. So we're gonna utilize our open date calendar. Um, I love the fact that we have four, three, two, one, because guess what? I'm going to get my calendar. I'm going to block out 
the days I absolutely cannot even possibly think of doing a party because maybe I have a child, a child's event, maybe my grandson has soccer, or maybe I got a date, who knows? But I wanna make sure that I'm, I'm taking care of my personal life, work, um, I'm, I'm crossing those off of my calendar first, all right? Then I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna look. What, if, if I'm doing four, three, two, one, I am gonna make sure that I am blocking off a minimum of four days that I can party in a month, minimum. I am gonna suggest to you, <clears throat> if you have the availability, block up six to eight days of when you'd be willing to do an in-home party to block off that time, all right? Once you've got those dates blocked off, and you know, here's the deal guys, I want you to block out, I want, your blocked out dates, the dates that you want to party, I want you to have those filled by the first of the following month. Meaning, if, you know, today is September, I don't even know what today is, September, um, please hold, today is September 19th, okay? So I want to make sure we're going to create the dates that were available to party in October, we're going to, um, I'm going to start advertising for these dates, right? I'm going to start trying to fill those dates now because, because I don't want to wait till October to book my parties. I want to make sure that those dates are secure, filled by the end of this month. And then that way, next month, while I'm doing these parties, I have my open dates available for the following month. Um, and so you always want to be full by the first. Hope that makes sense. Um, and then we're going to show you an example of what my calendar looks like for October. So you're going to see on my calendar, I have eight days available that I can do an in-home party. And whenever I start advertising, um, when people ask, what days are you available? I'm only going to offer three of those days. Um, and I'm going to try to fulfill the earliest dates first, then, right, continue on. But you get to control that, all right? So now we know what our calendar dates are. Um, you know, I have my life. I'm giving myself permission to have my life. So that's all blocked off. Um, and as we go through this booking blitz, you're going to be able to tell those that want to party with you what days you're available and let them choose. And here's what I'm going to guarantee you. With a little bit of calendar control, you're going to feel more control of your life. Um, everything won't seem so overwhelming. And as you get into this party flow, your calendar is always going to be where you want it to be. Okay, so just a little recap. Go out to your online office if you don't use a calendar, you know, if you don't have a regular calendar. Download your open date calendar. I would suggest doing one for October and November, right? I want you to block out your, you know, your deal breaker. Like there's no, I want you to block out the days that you need to be here, you need to be here. Um, you have a doctor's appointment, you want to spend time with the kids, you have a hot date, like, so go ahead and, and decide four, three, two, one, book four, hold three, right? Minimum four dates available. I'm going to suggest six to eight. Um, and then that way you'll have a variety of dates for those. And then you can cut that off once you get what you want fulfilled. So once your calendar is set, you know, I've always, um, I'm a, I'm a, you'll see my calendar was color coded. Um, you know, so for me, pink is uh, family time. Pink is, uh, you know, things that I absolutely have to spend time with family, go on my hot dates. Um, for me, green are party dates. Why green? Because we gonna make some money. We'll make some money. Um, and so, you know, that's just how I roll. But um, definitely go out, mark your days, be ready. And like I said, do October and November. 
And um, when you're offering those dates, if someone says, you know, you post uh, something on Facebook and somebody's like, oh, I'd love, you know, yes, I'd love to support your business. Hey, you know, I'm so excited. Listen, once you pick your date, I'll do all the work. Um, here are three dates that are available, which do you choose, okay? And so you don't have to give them the six to eight dates that you put there. I just want you to not offer all your cookies, but offer a couple of those dates and always use the earliest dates so that you can fill your calendar early. And then make sure your following month, make sure that we're in September, so I'm booking parties for October. By October 1st, I have to have those, if I wanna do, you know, four, three, two, one, I've gotta have my four parties booked, right? before October 1st. So my October calendar will be full by the beginning of the month. Then October, I can start on my November calendar. So I hope this helps. Make sure you get some calendar control. You got this. Rock it out. Now you know what you're going after and why you're going after it. And we've got some dates identified in your calendar, right? you've got a great basis to start making it happen. Here's what I wanna know from you and pop this in the chat for me really quick. What is one of the best ways that you're reaching out to people and getting those parties on the books? How are you making it happen? Share with everybody on the chat how you're making it happen and share it with everybody else. You know what we wanna share with you? You guys know. We love to give away some things around here. So it's giveaway time. They got some questions for you, so they're gonna make you work for it. But you know what we like to say, anything that's worthwhile, you gotta work for it. Let's go to Tori and Viv and see what they have in store for you. Tori, are you ready for some giveaways? I'm so ready for some giveaways. This Let's is, do this. This is my favorite part of any show we do is the giveaways. That's why I I'm know. always make sure I'm a part of it. And I know it's everyone's really go. excited out there. If you get these trivia questions right, you could earn $50 in free products. We need to do more trivia. I mean, I'm really excited, I, so. I, I love testing y'all's knowledge. I'm, let's see who gets this. I mean, you can ask the first question since you're so excited about it. I think it. I will. All right, ready? <laughs> yes, I'm so ready. First question, what is the top selling men's toys? Drop it in the chat right now because the first person to get it right is gonna get that $50 in free product. And we will contact you, we will message you and say, hey, you got it, girl. So this is gonna be really yeah. exciting. I mean, what do you think it is? Are you gonna give? You, you're gonna know <laughs> no this. No hints. You you guys know this. You guys better this know this. this. The is... top selling men's toy. Yes, I'm sure someone's gotten the answer by now. Yeah. Let's go on to the next question, which I'm very excited about. This is the very very first global summit that we are having ever. Drop below the dates when the Global Summit is happening next year. So drop those below. It's going to be such an exciting yeah. time. This is a hard one. I wouldn't know this if I didn't have the answers right in front of me. <laughs> I'm trying to keep everyone on their toes. This is going to yeah. be a really exciting one. So drop it in the chat below, and we'll let you know if you earn that $50 in free product. But, I mean, that's all for the giveaways now. Let's get back to the action. Let's get, get back, back to, to the, the show. Classes. Let's do this. Yeah. Cheryl, back to you. All right, get your notebooks ready because you are going to absolutely love this segment. We reached out to a number of top consultants out there that we know are getting business on the books and we said, how are you doing it? Rapid fire, they're gonna take you through how they are promoting the business and actually getting the results that they wanna get. Let's take a look. So the first script I want to give you is a direct message that you want to actually send to people that you really want to party with. It might sound something like this. Hi, name. I'm having a ridiculous booking special right now and I thought of you right away because you've been so amazing during this entire time as a client. Would you like to hear it? COVID demolished my in-home party business and I'm really rewarding big. All right, what that does is it lets your clients know that you are ready to party again, and it lets them know that you're sending big rewards because COVID did demolish people's in-home party businesses for a lot of us, and we are in the process of trying to rebuild our in-home party businesses. And it's important that your clients know that you're ready to party with them. When she says yes, then you're going to just say, seriously, you're amazing. Um, so when you have a party with me in the month of whatever that date is, you're going to get this fun little thing for free. Send a picture of yourself holding whatever that item is. 
I recommend taking a peek at that sale page. Look at some of the items that are available that are pop-up products that are not super expensive that can help you get the best bang for your buck. And then ask her if she's willing to hear some dates. Now, another approach that you can take would be to send a message to all of your clients. Um, so a direct message through something like Project Broadcast with an image of four different products to choose from. Um, this specific one was uh, a system that helped me book over 30 parties during the last booking blitz that we did. So I took a picture or, or created a picture with four different items in it. And I sent this, hey, name, it's your favorite pure romance girl, Ashley. Um, I'm in a contest test to have as many in-home parties as I can until the end of the year. I'd really love to do one with you. Um, plus, you get to pick one of these items as a free gift. Um, can I send over my dates? And that helped me book my party schedule as well. Another thing to help you keep your party schedule up and running every single year so that you don't ever have that moment of, oh man, I got to rebuild my party business, is going to be to make sure that you have some kind of system in place where you're reaching out to your customers every single quarter. A simple survey every single quarter can help you get the best results by just sending your clients a message like, hey, name, do you have a quick minute to take a quick survey? Um, and you could win a vibrator if you do. Just reply back with the word yes, and I'll send it over. And I wish you the very, very best. Go book your parties and let us know how you're doing. When I'm trying to get parties on my calendar, I think of the three things that I would want most if someone approached me to get a party. So I think of fun, number one, friendly, number two, and three, I think of the magic phrase, okay? And the magic phrase is for you. This is very important. So first, you want to have a conversation with them. You want to go over what's going on in life. How's things going? Check their Facebook page. Did they recently get a cat, a dog? Comment on something in their life. Then go on to say, what's changed since the last time we talked? Are you still working at the same place, etc.? okay? Let the conversation go naturally. From there, you're going to go, oh my God, girl, this has been such a fun conversation and I think you and your friends would benefit from this so much and I have to tell you. So my company gave me three $50 shopping sprees to give away for pure romance products and I'd love to gift you with one of them. Would it be okay if I send you my open dates? Would it be okay if is the magic phrase, okay? That's gonna get those parties cemented onto your calendar, all right? I hope you guys go and make that money. What this is, is it's a prize wheel that you go live in your VIP group. Um, you put prizes in here. What you do is you, and how to find it, it's wheelofnames.com, by the way. You put your prizes over here, you click to spin it, and I just posted in my VIP group the day before, hey, I have $1,000 in freebies to give away. Who wants a chance at one? I wrote everybody's names down. The next day I went live. I spun the wheel for every person, and I made sure they could see the video as I was spinning it and I wrote down their name and the item that they earned. Here is the key though, you have to follow up with them. So after they booked or after they spun the wheel, as soon as I got done off my live video, I started messaging everyone. Hey Sylvia, I'm so excited for you. You want a free $35 item for the spin the wheel deal. There are a few ways you can redeem it. Number one, host a free in-home party with me. If it was a smaller item, like one item, like a body do or a miracle oil, I tacked on an extra $200 in party sales to add to their party total because I wanted it to sound more enticing for them to actually book their party with me. If it was like free coochie for a year, I didn't add that because that's already an awesome deal. The second one I um, said, okay, so number one, book the party with me. Number two, join my team. And number three, place an order, an X amount of order. So that would be anywhere from like 175 to like 250, depending on what the free item was. If they were getting a free toy, I was probably going to make sure that they spent some money with me so I didn't lose out a lot of money on that. Um, I then said, how would you like to redeem your spin? They would respond. If they didn't respond, I messaged them the next day and I was like, hey, Sylvia, you only have one more day to redeem your um, spin the wheel deal. Do you want to redeem this? because sometimes people just get busy. So don't forget to follow up and I hope you guys book a bunch of parties from this. If you're looking for a fun spin on some fall parties, try a Hocus Pocus trivia night. So this is perfect for your repeat party goers. So you, I made a post in my VIP group 
asking where are my Hocus Pocus fans? And when they commented, I sent them a message and asked if they would want to put together a Hocus Pocus trivia night. It's super simple, super easy. They invite some friends over, they make sure they watch the Hocus Pocus movie ahead of time. And then they have some wine, they answer some Hocus Pocus trivia questions, which I found from another sister consultant, and they write the answers. And whoever has the most correct answers at the end of your trivia night gets a little prize, perfect way to utilize the sale page. But then the magic happens in the shopping room. They can be watching Hocus Pocus 2 while you're taking orders in the shopping room. You can put together some bundle ideas. You can have conversations with them. Great way to book some more parties. You can then put a spin on this for Christmas time and do some Christmas movie trivia parties. This is a really fun way to get the girls together, have them still shop. You're making a profit, but you're adding the fun factor to it. Hi guys, this is Terilyn Anderson, Board of Directors member, and I wanted to share with you guys a recent post that I did um, that helped me reconnect with my clients and of course, book some parties. So I did what you might call a classic book a party, pick a prize type post, but I put my own little spin on it and took pictures with my favorite pair of romance products and turned them into a collage and posted that instead for them to pick from. Everything from Pier 21, Uncovered, um, Shaving Cream, Chief Escape, those favorites that we all know and love. But instead of doing a copy and paste, um, kind of canned response to each individual person, I voice chatted them and customized what I was offering to them based off of what I knew about them. So if they weren't local, I was offering a virtual. If they were local and I really wanted to party with them, I might up the prize. I might do bonus things. I might offer double what they asked for. Who knows? But I made sure I was reconnecting, making it personal, and I was able to book five in-home parties for the months of September and October three virtual parties for people who don't even live in the same state as me and reconnect with multiple other women and hopefully have more business, more sales, and more parties down the road. Good luck. Hi ladies, Nancy McCarty here, and this is all about how to have fun with those college girls. Why? Well, that 20 age group is ready to learn, have fun, and they do have money, so don't prejudge. Also, it's repeat business. Four to five years on campus, they graduate, they move on, but still in your network. So new girls will also replace them. How, you say? Well, it only takes one to get into their community and word spreads like wildfire on college campuses. Networking is the best with a post such as, who knows um, any girls going away to college X, Y, and Z? I must ask you a question. I always give away basic instinct for a free booking gift for obvious reasons. Post flyers around campus with your phone number on them. That helps, and then call the work center on campus, get to know the director. She can be a wealth of information. And my success is that I had three parties just last month, uh, $5,000 netted from those three parties, and I also booked six for the month of October. So that's just my college girls. So happy booking, ladies. Hey everybody, I am Ryan from Michigan and I'm gonna give you guys the best booking tip that I have right now. So I posted this on my regular Facebook and I also posted it in my VIP group. I did the at everyone tag for the first time, so I had hundreds of comments. Um, here's all I posted. I'm so excited, Pure Romance gave me $1,000 in free gifts to give out when I complete my scavenger hunt. Count below your city and state and I will choose 10 winners. Obviously, I messaged everybody if there were more than 10. <laughs> so what I sent them was, hey, ready for some freebies? I'm choosing you as one of my winners for my scavenger hunt. I'd love to expand my business in your area. And for helping me, you're going to get $50 in freebies of your choice. That's literally their hostess credit because I make it a qualifying $500 party. Your choice between four bundles, all valued over 100 that is floating motor toy. So it cost me 20, 30 bucks. I am happily gonna give that over to have a party. And then entered to win a giveaway with a basket over $200. Can I send my available dates over for you and your ladies to have some fun, see some great products and earn freebies? 
if this person did not live local to me, the only thing I changed is I put great products and earn freebies completely online. It's the only thing I changed. So I got a good mix of in-home and online. Um, and it booked so many wonderful parties. So I hope it works just as well for you guys. Happy booking. Hi friends, this is Tiffany Ransom, Board of Directors member from Brandon, Mississippi, and I have a hot booking tip for you. This free product we've been getting from corporate is a great way to build your inventory or maybe add some new things to your demo, but I'm using it as a tool to book parties. So the first thing you're gonna want to do is take a screenshot of how much free product is available to you. To find that, you're gonna log into your online office, go to the My Reports tab, Tab, view reports and under the business reports column the second link says commissions cof and free product under that link you're going to find the free product tab and the top right box is going to show you how much is available to you take a screenshot of that and you're going to use it to post in your vip group the post said i have 475 dollars in free product to use, and I want to give it all away. Comment below if you want in on this, no purchase necessary. Pro tip, if you do not have any free product to use, borrow a friend's screenshot. Ask a team member for their current month of free product available. No one's name is on it. Your customers are not going to know. This is just the vessel. You're going to be giving them a shopping spree, okay? So the magic is in the verbiage, all right? Whenever you take the stress and the pressure off of your hostess, whenever you let her know that you don't care if you don't even make a dollar, that you're just wanting to meet her friends and for connecting you with them, you're going to hook her up with a free shopping spree. This verbiage is key. It's the magic. It's super effective. And I will continue to do this month after month because when I posted this in August, it allowed me to book 17 virtual parties and nine in-home parties using that verbiage. Try it out. I hope it works for you as well. Good luck. Hey ladies, it's Kayla Slice. If you want to book more parties, put these out all over your town. Nail salons, hair salons, spas, chiropractor, gas station where you get your oil changed. Literally doesn't matter. Ask everybody. Worst they can say is no, right? Go here. Search this. Gives you two options for six count. Seven inch options, five inch options. Either one is fine. Doesn't matter. The inside piece looks like this. $50 gift card, five winners selected so you don't look shady whenever you call everybody. Contacted via phone so they give you your phone number. This piece pulls off so that you can thread it, what they pull off and fill out in there. And since I have to keep this under a minute, you can take a picture of this. This is what you say when you walk in, whenever you pick it up, and what you say whenever you call them back. Good luck! My name is Monica Shanks. I am a senior director in Dearborn Heights, Michigan. I have been in business with Pure Romance for eight years and I am currently rebuilding my in-home party calendar after two full years of being completely virtual. What I am doing is crazy simple <laughs> and what is working the best for me is simply messaging my favorite past hostesses. Literally, as I think of people, I'm sending them a quick text or a message on Facebook saying something along the lines of, hey name, it's been forever. I hope that you and your sweet family are doing well. I am finally getting back to in-home parties this fall and I'm reaching out to all my favorite party girls first. Obviously, you and your friends are on that list. You guys are so freaking fun. Are you up for a fall girls night or a girls brunch? I would love to see you. Would you like to see my open dates? Simple, direct, to the point. If you don't have past hostesses to reach out to, just think of people who you'd like to party with. Think of nice people, fun people, people who've been supporting you online who you'd love to meet in real life. Just reach out, be direct, get in these inboxes, y'all. Slide in those DMs and make it happen. The most effective booking activity I've ever done was so incredibly simple. 
First, I did an algorithm boosting post on my timeline and in my VIP group. Then I took a selfie of myself in cat ears and captioned it, can I purdy please ask you a question? As people commented, I then private messaged them with one simple little line. What was this magical question? Will you host a party for me? No muss, no fuss, no bonus perks, no bribing, just a simple question. I booked 18 parties in 24 hours and my team members who did this also filled their party calendars. Sometimes keeping it simple is best. All right, you have a number of reasons to reach out. Next up, we've got Cassidy Bybee from Utah, who's focusing on the 555, a really super system that you can make connection on social all of the time. Hi, I am Cassidy Bybee, and I am here to talk to you about building connections, keeping those connections, and trying to navigate doing it on social. So we all learned how profitable and awesome social media with our business could be when we went through COVID. But I think what ended up happening is it was so good. And then it's like, we're trying to herd cats at this point. And so I want to teach you a proven solution way to stay committed to the process, not be so hard on yourself and understand that even those of us who have a strong social following, uh, go through ups and downs and ebb and flows when it comes to this type of thing, but staying consistent and making those connections is the way to go. And it's going to be the answer to really diversifying and keeping your business thriving. So the first thing I want to go over is you don't want to be a post and run or a post and pray type of person. Pure romance is amazing in the aspect that they are providing a ton of assets, media, scripts, information for us, but you never want to be the person that's just hiding behind those corporate made things. You want to become the person that people are connected with. They feel um, like they can trust. And they also feel like that you genuinely care for them and their problems and their relationships. So when I say don't post and run and post and pray, you need to understand that this is about building connections. So when you make a post and maybe it's not showing up in the aspect that you want it to, uh, it's really important to remember that you are on social media. So it is important for you as a person to also be social. So hiding after you post, not the answer. Um, I have a solution. I call it the five, five, five. If you can just do that every single day, it's going to show you in everyone's feeds. It's going to show you interacting and it's going to help you build those connections. So you want to comment on five friends posts a day and not just like a heart emoji. I want you to genuinely comment. I want you to oh my gosh, your daughter's birthday cake with the Minnie Mouse theme was adorable. Where did you get it? Or comments like, I love the new hair color. Where are you going to get your hair done these days? These are genuine conversations that are going to connect you with these people and help you realize that, help them realize that you are like, want to be involved in their life. For instance, I'm going to share an example, a bad example. I got a message the other day from somebody who has a business an at-home business. Um, I hadn't talked to her in years and it was like six paragraph message. And she mentioned my daughter's name, but it was the wrong name. So <laughs> it was like, oh, this is so bad. And I want to fix this. But she's like, this could help you and Jody. And I'm like, oh, my daughter's name's Jody. So you want to be genuine and connect with these people. So five comments a day, you want to message five people a day, something like, you could do your happy birthday messages. Like I just saw it's your birthday. I want to wish you a happy birthday. I hope you have a great day. Um, or it could just be a genuine message like the comments, like, can I ask you where you get your daughter's birthday cake made? Or um, I saw your husband got a new job. How was he liking it? Five. So five comments, five messages. Um, and then you also want to uh, like, share and participate with um, your clientele, friends, family, that type of thing. Um, the other thing I'm going to suggest is we are all in this together. And I know this might sound crazy, but I'm going to be the first person to tell you that we are not in com com competition with each other. We're here to help each other. And I have found by supporting, loving on, sharing, participating with other consultants, things, it always just comes back and pays me tenfold. So when I dabble into some of the TikTok stuff I'm going to share with you guys. I'm going to share something that I always do when another consultant pops up in my TikTok feed. So that being said, another great way to make these connections and keep these connections is they want to hear from 
people that are working with you also. So what I mean when I say that is like social proof, social testimonials, sharing those things with your Facebook groups, on your Instagram stories, on your TikToks. It's going to make the general problem solving relationship enhancement enhancing business you provide real. It's not going to be, oh, that's just that Cassidy girl that just wants to sell me product to make money. It's going to be, no, she shared this, you know, testimonial on this thing. And somebody else is like benefiting from this. This means this, this is real. It's genuine. And then going into that is vulnerability is so good. You guys, I know I've heard people have said it to me before. They're like, oh my gosh, everybody loves you because you're so pretty and you're so put together. Like, I am not go look at my social. I will have no makeup on hair, a mess, just showing my real life, hot mess, mom struggles, talking about real life things. You don't want to be put together all the time. Yes. You want to show up, um, at your party presentations. Um, I always think how, how would Patty show up to this, you know, dressing professionally, you know, making sure you're put together properly, but you also want to show up in a space, especially when it comes to social as a genuine, vulnerable, real person, because people will do business with people. They don't want to do business with business, if that makes sense. So, um, next thing I'm going to talk to you about is TikTok for a minute. And I know this is kind of like a lot or like a loom and doom. And I'm going to be honest, social has always been a strong point of mine, but I was starting to feel like I was stuck. Yes. Almost 15 years in business. I was feeling stuck and I was feeling like I needed to get uncomfortable. And I told myself the beginning of this year, 2022, TikTok was going to be my thing. And I don't care what happened. I was sticking to it for the entire year. So when I started where, I mean, I start where everyone else starts, you know, don't know what I'm doing, feel crazy. Right. Um, I've had an account shut down multiple times. I figured out how to navigate through that. Um, I've done over a hundred thousand dollars in sales just on TikTok because I stuck to it. I didn't give up. I got frustrated. I just keep, kept going. I've noticed that what TikTok was doing, because I, when you have a thousand followers, you can then put a link in your bio is in my link, my link tree link, direct me link, whatever one you want to build. You can do things where they can join your Facebook VIP group. They can fill out a Google form to answer some questions. And then you're just collecting information. This has expanded my reach so much because I was getting frustrated with my VIP group on Facebook because my reach was tapped out. I wasn't getting new people to join. And now with TikTok, it's every day, new people are wanting to join that group and it's getting me connecting with other people. That being said, committing to it, you may feel uncomfortable at first, but when you start making TikToks, if I can teach you anything, you want to sell the problem you solve, not the product you have. So you don't want to be the girl that's on TikTok. It's just trying to sell products, right? It's a whole taboo zone that's ignored by many. Have you tried for an easy boost in arousal, I can help. Add sensation and a little flavor to your fun with Bosom Buddy. It's a tingling nip and lip balm. Leaves a fun dragon fruit flavor, moisturizing ingredients, mouth-watering flavors. Make Bosom Buddy great for your skin and taste buds. Grab yours in my clickable store and follow me for more fun goodies to spice up and increase that libido. If you are solving problems for them, so before you make a video, think of a problem that is linked to our products that you can solve with a video and explaining that, right? Women, like, are you struggling with libido? Are you feeling like you're not having that connection with your partner? Let me try adding this to your equation and solving the problem for them. So then you're like selling something, but you don't realize you're selling it. Other little tip I'm gonna give you on TikTok. There is something about the algorithm that when somebody watches your video for the full amount of time and when somebody shares your video. So I tell our team to do this and I hope all of you will do the same because if we all help each other, we're all gonna grow in this together. If you see another consultant pop up on your feed, this isn't competition to you. This is you helping her and she will help you. So if you hit the share button, copy link, and do that like 10 times, what that's going to do is it's going to boost her in the algorithm and it's going to help her have that viral moment and they will do the same for you. And watching their video is going to all the way through. It's like a little trick that I was taught and it helps just all of us boost each other. So I have that mentality. Whenever I see a consultant 
pop up. I'm sharing you guys left and right. Um, you don't share it. You just copy the link and act like you're sharing it somewhere. It like tricks the algorithm, but, um, just my little tips, um, be genuine, show up, make sure to do your five, five, five and be social with these people and give back to your other sister consultants. And I promise no matter how frustrating it gets, because I have been there many times, it will pay off. Okay, so now you know that 555, how do you reach out to people on a regular basis and really make those connections so you're not being the pushy salesperson. But now it's time to go into the party and make sure you're getting parties from parties. Here to help us is Jen Kelly from New York. She's making it happen. Here's what she knows to be true. And here's what I really want you to hear if you don't have any parties yet. It only takes one party on your books to get growing. And you know what you're gonna do? You're gonna ask your little fanny off. Let's take a look as Jen tells us how she makes it happen. All right, guys, my name is Jen Kelly and I'm going to be discussing with you today in-home parties, how to get them, how to talk about them and why they are the lifeblood of our business and how much fun they are. I have been in business for 10 years and in that 10 year period, not only have, has my business been 98% in-home parties, with the exception of COVID, but I have consistently done the same amount of parties for the past 10 years, even through one maternity leave and now one coming very soon as well. <laughs> when it comes to parties, it only takes one, literally one guys to start your calendar. It's all it takes. Years ago, I could actually trace back over half of my business to my own launch party, which is really cool. I created like a nice little like web and a graph and you know i'm super nerdy <laughs> but don't worry if you feel like your launch party was not as successful as you wanted it to be because you feel like you didn't book a party or didn't book a few parties off of it don't worry we've got you what i'm going to do today is i'm going to help you rebook that launch party as well as how to actually get parties from each and every single one of your parties from there right because who says you can't relaunch absolutely no one so what I do is I try and leave every single party with a minimum of three parties. If I don't leave with three parties, what I actually do is that next morning, I head to social media or I head to my clients or my previously canceled parties. And I literally start booking until I hit that three parties. And the reason why I do this is number one, to replace the current party that I'm actually doing physically standing in front of people. Number two, to grow my calendar and then number three to withstand and i really think that that third party is really important because you're withstanding the test of time by continuously building onto your calendar so you have that strong number that you want whether it be two parties a month or 12 parties a month because peer romance is my main source of income i do personally do anywhere from eight to 12 in-home parties per month and this does not mean though that all three of those parties that I book at the party are within the same month. It doesn't mean that I'm slamming them all in. I like to sprinkle them all throughout the next couple months to give me that consistency. Now, this is where the fun starts. If you don't already have a party booked on your calendars, what I want you guys to do is I want you guys to literally pause this video and I want you to pull out your calendar and pick a day sometime within the next three weeks. And the reason why I say this, because if you haven't already done a launch party, or if you have already done one, and maybe you've been in business for 20 years, even it is time to relaunch your business heading into the fall, heading into the holiday season, and then eventually into the winter time, which is definitely our busy season. We love the season of love, right? But when I first arrive at a party, whether it's a party I'm hosting myself or a party that I'm hosting for a hostess of mine, I am just as excited for the party as they are. And this is super important because it is authentic excitement. Parties are fun. The first thing I suggest you do besides picking a calendar uh, date, an open date on your calendar is I want to know why you love parties, whether it is you've never uh, hosted one or you've never been to one. And this is like your first exploration into an in-home party, maybe even doing them a while you're not really hundred percent sure. I want to know, and you need to know why you love a pure romance party, discover it or remember it. My favorite thing about parties is I'm getting girls together. I love a girl's night with my girlfriends. I love dinner. 
I love to get together for wine nights. This is the easiest way and the cheapest way in today's world to get together and just see your girlfriends. So when I arrive at a party, I am already excited to get those girls together and feel the exact same excitement that I feel when I see my friends. Now, your reason might be the sexual health and wellness. It might be education. It might be giving away free stuff. Maybe you really love to give away free stuff, right? Who doesn't? Who doesn't like to get free stuff? But I really want you to lean in here because showing your truth and your authentic self in your business is what's going to transpire to your hostesses, okay? Now, after I walk into the party, I'm excited. I, you know, I start chit-chatting with a couple of the girls. I introduce myself as I'm starting the party and my hostess. And then here's a little tip. I also introduce the prior hostess, whether or not she's actually at the party physically. Maybe her friend from two hours away booked a party and she was unable to make it, but clearly I drove there because I live in a very small town. But I always make sure to uh, hit on the prior hostess, how we met, and on top of that, announce how fun that party was. Because yet again, that's going to be excitement to me. If your reason why you love parties is to educate women, you can say, oh my goodness, it was so much fun having all these women come into my shopping room and learning something new. So hopefully you guys will learn something just as fun and new tonight. And one more thing I do hit on from there is how much she got in free. Now, here's a caveat. I am a little squirrely. <laughs> so if it's not 100% the right number, I give it like a roundabout, guys. Don't, don't feel like you have to do a ton of paperwork before you show up to a party. Remember what they're there for, which is fun and education. So I give, her, I give the whole entire party a prior hostess roundup. Maybe she got $150 in free. Maybe she got $50 in free. It doesn't matter. And then I also remind everyone how that prior hostess got a 50% off item and is getting a 50% off item tonight, the night of the party. And it's always off her most expensive item. And I do this because it proves that parties are withstanding the test of time. Okay. Now throughout the whole entire party, while I'm talking, I always drop little booking seeds. The first thing I do after introductions is I walk through my wish list. And I say, you're going to use this tonight to keep track of the things you want tonight. You want to go home with tonight or at your own party. Maybe you're going to look at your wish list at the end of the evening saying, oh my goodness, what just happened? I want everything and I can't do everything. Don't worry, I've got you. Or I go on throughout the night and I say, this is actually why my last party booked. This product, whether it be like a main attraction or the Pure 21 or the vitamin C or anything like that. And I also say this is the number one reason why people book parties and whether that be one of my top sellers, um, like the main attraction yet again. Okay. As I'm wrapping up the party, I usually chose the, like the easiest, no arts and crafts way to book a party. <laughs> I am not an arts and crafts person. I am not super organized. So guys, even if you don't want to, even if you're unable to do it as, and I consider myself fancy when I do it. But this is straight out of the Pure Romance training website because I like easy and I like people to help our team repeat exactly what I'm doing easily. The envelope game. I've been playing the envelope game for all 10 years that I have been in business. I did stop for a little bit and then I realized no wonder I don't have any parties on my books. So this is why. <laughs> and if you're not familiar with the envelope game is, I actually bring my hostess up at the end of the party and I ask her super excitedly, um, Jan, how was your night this evening? Did you have a, a ton of fun? Are you super excited since you saw some of the new stuff or stuff you didn't see last time? Is your wish list getting bigger? I can't wait to see how much fun, like free stuff we get you already. And especially if she had a couple orders before we even showed up, what I do is I say, I know you're already getting X, Y, Z amount and free products. And then she answers, she says, yes. Oh my God, it was so much fun. Yada, yada, yada. What I do is I hand my hostess three envelopes. That's it, just three, unless it's like a very large party then I hand her five. But three envelopes, and it, right now I'm using neon colored envelopes from the dollar store guys, like I'm not very fancy. And then I used fake money from the dollar store as well. And I stuff the envelopes with fake money. And I say, Jan, I'm gonna give you these three envelopes because I know how much in free stuff you're going to get tonight, but I wanna make sure that your girls can get something for free if they want. So in these three envelopes, there's going to be dollar amounts anywhere from 
30 to $60 in free product. And the coolest part about me is girl, once you get all of these, if you hand these out, I want you to start thinking about your friends, the girl with like the funnest house, the girl who makes the best charcuterie board, the girl who always has the best wine rack, the girl who has the cutest dog. Cause you guys know, I love dogs. Um, the girl who has the best couch, the best outdoor deck, whatever you think, I want you to start thinking about it or the girl who just likes a good deal. When I give you these envelopes, you're going to start passing these out to three of your girlfriends tonight who you think might do a party. And that's when I want to start jogging your memory. Cause if you get all three of these parties booked, once they all hold, they're going to get an extra hundred dollars in free stuff. And she's like, Oh, then I look out at the audience. Cause I've been talking directly to her the entire time. Look at my audience and I say, and girls, if you book on one of my hot dates, I'm going to double what is in your envelope. However, you cannot look in your envelope until you come into the shopping room. Now, this does not mean that people are not looking at their envelopes. It's no big deal for me. But I do have a list of hot dates. So meaning maybe I had a hostess through schedule because she had a, you know, something going on or a sports game, whatever it may be. Those are my hot dates. I book in a little bit closer and I double the free product that's in there. Okay. So that's my tried and truth faithful. Once all three of those parties hold, the hostess gets an extra hundred dollars in free products. And then I remind her to contact me before every party. If she cannot be there to claim her 50% off item, super simple, super easy. Okay. However, I have been booking parties a second way as well, because I am going out on maternity leave for my in-home parties in about the middle of November. So I wanted to make sure I had my November. I want, I want to have my end of year calendar full by probably the end of this month. <laughs> so what I've been doing is I actually released a party special. So on that party special, I've been releasing it on social media. I've been talking about it at my parties. I'm actually offering a hundred dollar free product credit, which is actually going to be directly off the sale page. It's going to be something like some of our, you know, our sale toys we can utilize that we're getting for pennies on the dollar, which is absolutely amazing of pure romance. It's a great booking gift. Um, or I'm doing a hundred dollar in limited lingerie credit, same exact thing right off the sale page, or I'm doing a hundred dollars in, um, bath and beauty products. So they can pick any, and I literally print out pictures of the items that are on the sale page or I save it on my phone and update it in like a pic collage. And I show the hostess, okay, this is going to be your hundred dollar bonus product. Which one do you want tonight? And then from there, she's going to get her typical 10% of her party sales. She uses her free shopping spree. And on top of that, I also give her a discount right now that is going to be my buying discount. Now, the reason I'm doing that is just because the fact that it's something different to do and I've never done it before. So for me, it works great. Now I do have, when they are booking a party that they need to hit a minimum of $750 in um, party sales. And I make sure that that is listed to allow that not only me to make money, but number two, to make sure that they're packing the house and giving them the funnest party they can, because we all know a party with 10 girls can sometimes be a little bit more fun than a party with three girls. That does not mean that a party with three girls is not worth it. Make sure you guys know that. Okay. Now, as these girls come into my shopping room, whether after I've done close, you know, close the party part and I've walked through my booking game or my booking specials that I have going on as they're coming in, I love fun. I love parties because they're fun. I love meeting new people. I have contacts all over the place. I hit 5,000 friends every single week. I'm not even friends with my mom. I feel bad, but <laughs> I continue the fun by asking questions. Hey, and I check out the name on their wish list because they wrote it down. Did you have fun? Oh my goodness. What a good group. I, you know, I haven't had a good group like this in a while. Do you have any questions? Okay. Well, let's start our list then. What are we thinking about for tonight? She walks through her list. Sometimes I have girls who say I have an envelope. What do I do with it? And I say, we're going to walk through that last. It's my last thing I do is I book a party or she says, well, I really want to do a party yet again. Let's do that last. I want to walk through what you want to get with tonight. And then from there, we'll talk about your party. And the reason why I do this is also if someone's in between a couple of different toys and she really can't, um, you know, pick which one she wants to get. I always say, well, go with your gut for tonight. And then at your party, we'll get you the other one. How does that sound? So I'm always bringing it back to a party. Then I close out every single shopping room conversation with, Hey, I ask this question to every single person who comes into my shopping room or else you wouldn't be here. 
have you ever thought about doing a party of your own and getting free stuff much like Hostess's name did? This number one takes the awkwardness out of me because even 10 years in the business, sometimes I feel a little bit awkward for asking for business. Okay. It's entirely okay. Don't worry. So just remove it and say, I ask every single person, don't even stress out about it. <laughs> um, and this gives the opportunity for the potential new hostess or the customer who's sitting in front of you to give you a yes or no simple answer. Yes or no. Yeah, actually I have. She says, yes. I ask if the weekday of the party usually works good for them. They say, no, I offer others. I actually only do Monday through Thursday parties and I have for nine years of my business, fun fact. And how I do that is because not a lot of people have a lot of stuff to do Monday through Thursday. There's no football games. There's no kids sports unless it's a practice and dad can do that. Um, or there's, you know, there's not a lot of overtime maybe towards the middle of the week. Uh, there's not like concerts, there's not traveling going on. It's always going to be a lot easier for people. They're sitting at home, eating leftover spaghetti, watching. I don't even know what, um, but that is why I do it. And I say you're in and out the same amount of time as you would like in a bowling league on a Wednesday night, a cards league on like a Tuesday or just dinner with the girls for happy hour on Thursday. And then that kind of jogs their memory. Oh yeah, you're totally right. So that's a fun little outside of the box tip. But if they say yes, I give them dates and I let them know, hey, listen, there's a 50, 50% chance. We picked an amazing date. You're not in front of your calendar right now. She doesn't have it on her phone. Go home, double check your calendar. Do me a favor, message me or call me within 48 hours of this party. We'll confirm it. If it works, great. I don't know how we just did it. However, if it doesn't, we can move it. I'm a human being too and I have a life. I totally get it. Like we're going to have fun. It's not going to be a stressful event for you if you have some things going on that week. And it yet again, takes the stress of, oh my God, I have to have people over my house. I have to clean. Don't worry. These are your girlfriends. If the, if the customer says no, what I do from there is I offer a referral bonus to every single person who says no. Okay. I totally get it. Don't worry. You know, I actually never hosted a party before I became a pure romance consultant. Never hosted it, only attended three. So here's what I'll do. If you know anyone who's ever looking for a consultant and wants to do a party, shoot me a call, open up a three-way text with them. And once they book, I'll give you $25 in free products. Super simple. And every single person now has that bug in their ear of, oh, a referral bonus. And it makes their life a lot easier because maybe they're just a party goer, not a party hoster. Entirely okay. Then within a few days after the party, I actually post a thank you in all of my events saying, thank you for coming to the party and not only supporting our hostess, but my business. I wouldn't be here without women like you, especially 10 years later. And I offer a party bonus because maybe they went home, they talked with their girlfriends around the water cooler at work, or they went out, you know, they did Saturday morning soccer games, or they went to a farmer's market and ran into some people, or they talked with their partner and they're like, you should have gotten all this stuff. Oh my goodness. Um, you should totally do a party with her. Here I am. And yet again, I'm in their face and I'm remembering who they are. Okay. This is how simple parties are, is I'm just reiterating the fact of what they can get, how much fun they had and how they can support their hostess. That's all I'm doing guys. So I post on social media every single time I do a party, I do a selfie in my car before I take off. Please make sure you are not driving. Um, I create excitement before and after it, not only in the event, but also in my social, in my VIP groups, because I al also offer share like new limited products or maybe a product that's in the sale page. I do a, you know, a quick little highlight of what it is, and not only in my VIP, but also on my regular page, my regular page. I love to share things with a touch of class to show people how many different things that we offer at Pure Romance. I consistently play the same booking game. I can, they know to expect it. It's the same with my sponsoring game. I've been playing the Ask Managing game for 10 years. So they know what to expect. And I offer it to everyone. And that's all it takes to fill your calendar, guys. All right, so now we've put the focus on parties coming from parties. Tell me this though, how many of you have booked a party tonight? Pop it in the chat, tell me what your number is, right? And if you were one of those individuals like, it hasn't happened for me yet, 
no worries. Sometimes it takes several contacts, right? Several reach outs before somebody says yes or before you can spark that conversation. So remember, booking for bucks, this is a process. We're giving you information that you can use over the long term, but we're gonna do the call to action tonight to make those connections, right? Do those reach outs and at least get the ball rolling. All right, so now we're gonna go back into the party. We had Jen Kelly talking about parties from parties. Next up, we have three amazing consultants. Lucy Heinen is gonna walk you through how do you actually create your iStory. Now here's what's really super interesting about iStories and what I hear from consultants all the time. Oftentimes, a very well-crafted iStory does a lot of the sponsoring for you and does a lot of the booking of parties for you. And that's why we wanna make sure whether you're experienced or whether you're brand new with Pure Romance, you feel confident going in and having that powerful eye story to start off every party. And then we like examples around here. So we've got Andrea Burns and Tina Connery who are gonna share their eye stories with you. Let's take a look. Hey everybody, my name is Lucy Heinen. I am a national director with Pure Romance and I'm so excited to talk to you guys about creating your eye story. I think eye stories are essentially our first impression. It's how we introduce ourselves to women. They were kind of traditionally for our in-home parties. There are opening statement, right? If you guys took like debate class in school, you remember you needed to have an opening speech or an opening statement. That's sort of what I want you guys to think of when you think of I story. But we're also going to talk about how else you can use the pieces of your I story. So we're going to kind of cover how to create it, how to use it, when to use it and why it's so important. Um, and then above and beyond the actual in-home parties as well for your virtual and then for everything else that you do in business. So what is an I story? Like I said, an I story is basically your introduction. It's who you are. But what's so cool about an I story is it's actually how other people relate and connect with you. We talk all the time about how this business is about connection, making connection, growing connection, building on connection, um, and relating to the women and the people that you're talking to when you're out and about doing business. Oftentimes we shy away from kind of talking about ourselves, right? We're always encouraging, um, you know, everybody to listen and learn about the people that you're talking to. And that is really important. But when it comes to your I story, this is your opportunity to shine. So I do want to make sure that you guys step outside of your comfort zones at least a little bit to really talk about yourself, because this is what allows for connection points. I also think it's important to remember, specifically when it comes to in-home parties, that you may not know these women. And I think, you know, I mean, I'm just gonna, I'm, I'm gonna get a little blunt with y'all. To them, we're the, we're the vibrator lady, right? We're the dildo lady. We walk into Susan's house with a suitcase full of sex toys, y'all, right? And then we just dive right in. They don't know us, right? Like some of these women never even talk to their best friends about stuff like this. So really taking an opportunity to introduce yourself, maybe let them know that you're a mom or what you do for fun or just a little bit about you is kind of important because we're, we're sort of hitting on a sensitive subject. And I think that as consultants, sometimes we forget because for us, this is, this is our life, right? Like, I don't know about y'all, but I'll pick up the phone in the grocery store and I'll have a customer be like, Hey, I have a question about the V39 when it hits the G spot. And I'm like, Oh, well your G spot. Blah, 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 and I look down and there's like five-year-old little kid, right? Like trying to pick out some ramen. I'm like, Oh, whoops. To us, this is sort of an everyday thing, right? This is our life. So put yourself too in the position of your customer or a woman that's sitting in a party, maybe for the first time, and just really go into your I story thinking about that. How can I use this opportunity to connect with that woman who could be super embarrassed, really intimidated, uh, scared shitless? because this is not her jam. So you wanna make her feel as comfortable as possible. So I also don't want you to stress over your I story. I think oftentimes when there's examples of I stories, it's all these like badass leaders. Like if you've ever heard like Stacey Bouk's story or some of these other leaders stories, which you guys are gonna hear a little bit later, as a newer consultant, you're like, 
um, my life hasn't changed yet. I'm new. <laughs> or you hear, you know, uh, maybe one of my success stories where, yeah, like mama used to live in a garden shed with the love of her life, still with the love of her life, not in a garden shed anymore. And you're like, well, uh, oh, I don't, I don't have an experience like that. I made $50 and I was really excited and that's okay. So don't let maybe some of the examples stop you from connecting because you don't think your kind of pure romance story is that big or great yet, because this is actually not a pure romance story. It's your story and your story started before your pure romance journey. So don't shy away from, again, who you are and connecting with people. So connect and relate. That's the whole point. This is your first impression. So we want to go in strong. I also just want to mention that an I story on top of being your introduction to everybody is also a really powerful recruiting tool. And it's going to allow you guys to do business with these women later on. And like I said, I'll touch on that kind of once I teach you guys how to create it, but I do want you to think about it as a recruiting tool, especially if you're a newer consultant. So where a long-term kind of veteran might have the advantage is that, yeah, their I story is badass. It's that rags to riches story. And it's really impressive. And they've built their dream home and they've taken all these vacations and they've paid off 60 grand in debt. But like you listening to their I story and you're thinking, dang, I can't create an I story like that. One of the women sitting in the party might think, oh, that's so amazing that this business did that for her. Uh, but I don't know that it could ever do it for me. Whereas as maybe a newer consultant in the business, you don't have that rags to riches story yet, but that actually makes you more relatable in terms of these women joining your team, because it sort of starts to trigger that. Well, if she thinks she could do it, then maybe I could do it too. So in addition to kind of relating, you guys are also creating this opportunity of sharing the opportunity with other people. Doesn't matter if you haven't achieved these incredible levels of success yet, you will, but these women kind of get encouraged to join you along for the ride, okay? So, and then if they don't wanna join your team, they still wanna support moms. They still wanna support women with a really strong work ethic, right? They wanna be present and do business with women with whom they relate. So even when it's not a recruiting tool, right? Like I mentioned, it's still, a booking tool. It's still an uh, ordering tool. Sounds weird. <laughs> so it's not, it's not going to say that it's an ordering tool, but you know, again, it's a way to encourage these women to do business with you. So you may not know how to create your I story. So let's kind of talk about that next. So in order to create your I story, I kind of want you to think of this little portion as almost like a fill in the blanks. I feel like that's the easiest way to kind of create it. And you may come up with some other questions later um, when you guys listen to some of the I story examples, maybe write down notes on their talking points and see what those kind of and how those fit in with these. And maybe if there's additional ones, just kind of add those to the list. But I think when somebody says create an I story, write it down. I don't know about y'all, but my brain goes, all right, like, oh, like what, <laughs> what am I supposed to say? Well, again, we don't like to talk about ourselves. So the first thing that I would love for you guys to do in creating your eye story and in sharing your eye story, introduce yourself, babes. <laughs> Hi, my name is, insert your name. Tell them your name. I don't know about anybody else, but I actually hate introducing myself. Um, and so I actually forget to tell an entire party what my name is. And then at the end, <laughs> Women would come into the ordering room and they go, hey, um, I don't think I caught your name, but you were so fun. And it's like, <laughs> um, hi, my name's Lucy. It's nice to meet you. Sorry. Right. Like, I mean, talk about like one night stand kind of action. <laughs> like the next morning, like, what was your name again? <laughs> Whoops. So start with your name. The second little piece of information, especially if you're newer and even if you're not, is I started doing pure romance because... So, hey, my name is Lucy Heinen. I'm so excited to be here at this party with all of you guys. I did just wanna share a little bit of information with all of you because after all, I mean, right now I'm sort of just like the sex toy lady. So I wanna make it a little bit less weird and kind of break the ice. I started doing pure romance because, insert why you started doing pure romance. This is a really cool question um, because it's actually your opportunity to pull in a ton of different information. I started doing pyramids because I would like to pay off student loan debt or 
you know, um, credit card debt, or I wanted to empower women, or I wanted to empower women at the same time as I eliminated student loan and credit card debt. Um, this is where, and, and this kind of as a side note here, when you guys say things like, I want to pay off debt, or I want to pay off student loans, or I want a more flexible schedule so that I can go back to school, or I needed a more flexible schedule for my kids, you're actually giving them more information than just, I want to pay off student loans. You're actually saying, I went to school, right? I planned on having a career or I have a career. Um, it infers, right, your level of education. So that's another thing to think about is that while you might just be saying, I'm paying off student loan debt, you're actually relating to every other woman that's sitting there that maybe went to college, right? Because they're like, oh, girl, I hear you. It doesn't matter if she's got a thousand dollars or a hundred thousand dollars of student don't loan debt, right? She's she's there. So kind of consider that too. You might just be giving a little tiny tidbit of information in your I story, but it actually means a whole lot more to the women that are sitting there listening. So I started doing pure romance because. I really wanted a flexible schedule so that I could be at home a little bit more and let's be fair, I needed to pay off some student loan debt because I got a literature, I mean, <clears throat> literature degree. <laughs> and I haven't found that particularly useful in terms of making an income. So I was excited to join a company like this. I fell in love with the company and the products because, okay, so that's your next fill in the blanks. I fell in love with the products and or the company because. Now, this is your opportunity to talk about maybe a little bit more on a personal scale, why you chose Pure Romance specifically. Because let's be fair, for a lot of us, we started doing Pure Romance because of the scheduling, uh, because of the money, uh, because we wanted to be there for other people. But you guys could do that with a ton of other companies, right? The reality of it is we chose Pure Romance for a reason. So sharing why you fell in love with the products or maybe even just sharing like the very first product that I fell in love with was the aftershave because the dumbest mistake that I ever made ever was trying men's aftershave down there to try to stop the ingrowns. Woo! <laughs> Did not equate the home alone uh, with the, uh, that I had happening. So I used this and it was no burn and I was hooked. Then I started thinking about all of the reasons why this was maybe a really good start or of a business for me because it was products that I love to talk about anyway. And then as I've been with this company, I've recognized the level of support and the level of training that's present. I have also learned that Really, really cool women sign up to do something like this. And so I've made a ton of friendships. I never thought that I was a girl's girl until this business. And it turns out women are actually really awesome, or at least they can be, but the women in this business definitely have been. So that's kind of been a side perk for me is all of the friendships that I've made along the way. And that's really important to me because I currently work in a podiatry clinic. So I work with a bunch of doctors. <clears throat> Not the most social group. And so I've really found that with Pure Romance, it has started to fuel um, kind of a desire to just have more in my life. I'm recognizing how much more is out there. So that next fill in the blank, you guys, is I currently do. So you can kind of see how I like segued that in. The I currently do is where you can talk about being a mom, right? Your current job. Maybe you're currently a student. Maybe you are currently unemployed, right? Like you could talk about that. And again, the more points of connection you can pull into this, the better, right? I don't work in the foot clinic anymore. I haven't for years. But when I say I used to work in a podiatry clinic or I used to work in a medical office, you guys, how many nurses and CNAs and, um, you know, pharmacy techs and, um, Oh my gosh, why can't I think of the word? I used to do this too. I don't know. Women that work in like group homes, right? Like support staff for group homes, caregivers. Um, we all know that's a huge group of women, right? So I always talk about how I worked in that field, always, because I know that at a party guaranteed at least one or two women are in healthcare or, um, and then also too, when we're talking to women, you know, you're probably going to have some moms if it's a really young group, right? Like if they're 19, 20, 21, oh my God, I just said really young in reference to 20 year olds. <laughs> 
<laughs> I just aged myself a little bit. It's fine. Um, but if you're talking to younger women, right, maybe talk more about your, you know, your school experience or, oh my God, like, um, you know, I currently work in healthcare, but man, I remember leaving high school thinking, oh, what the heck am I supposed to do with my life? Right. And really being on the struggle bus with that. And I fell into a healthcare, you know, career. It wasn't a career at the time, but, you know, found a listing on Craigslist. And so I rolled with it. Um, but do you guys see how this, like, I currently do question allows you to really touch on a ton of people. And you can also pull in things you have done. Your I story is part of your journey. So again, if you're sort of racking your brain on like, I do nothing, like I'm at home all day with my kids and that's it. Well, what have you done? What have you tried? Um, what have you done in the past that maybe you didn't like? Like, oh, like, gosh, um, currently I'm a stay at home mom, but I used to work in a bank. Oh, the managers were awful. And I hated having to get all dressed up every, you know, every single day. And I had to wear these really uncomfortable spanks because dang, those suits are not flattering. And the shoes were the worst. I'm so grateful that I don't have to do that anymore. Um, and that now I have a business that's going to supplement my income. Right. So just kind of tying it in. Um, another thing that you guys can talk about. So next fill in the blanks, some of the things that excite me about pure romance. Now, if you've been around for a minute, you can talk about all of the things that you know that you love, but maybe you haven't had an experience where you're, they're super solid, right? Like you um, aren't necessarily married yet. You're walking down the aisle right now, but maybe you're not married. So talk about the potential things that you're excited about. So you might be excited about the opportunity to empower women. You could be excited about um, making the money. You could be excited about building your dream house. So you might not be there yet, but talk about what you're excited about. And then the next fill in the blank is to share a goal. Share one of your goals. You guys, women love to help other women. So if you're at a party and you're like, you know, one of my goals with Pure Romance is to uh, not only share this opportunity um, and these products, or I'm sorry, is to share these products, but also is to share the opportunity. One of my goals this year is to have five amazing women join my team and to book at least five parties a month. I feel like that's going to give me exactly what I need uh, to kind of move forward with this. And I'm really excited that all of you guys are here to be a part of it. Okay. Another fill in the blanks is pure romance fits my lifestyle and appeals to me because now I feel like I've already answered this question as I was going through all of the other ones. But if you feel like you haven't, this is where it kind of brings in flexibility, um, the ability to work from anywhere. Um, maybe even silly things like getting write-offs on your taxes, like, oh, pure romance really appeals to me because I get to write a bunch of stuff off on my taxes. My husband's got one of those like nine to five jobs and whoo, the taxes are brutal. So having my own business just made financial sense. Now, some of the women are going to glaze over, right? And they're like, brah, 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 brah. but if you've got a woman there that maybe does have a really career-driven partner, she's going to go, oh, he's actually talked about that a little bit, right? Ding. So again, with this I story, appeal to as many women as you possibly can. The last one, especially I think is really important that you tie in in any way, shape or form. I got trained on how to be a consultant by. Now I know that this may not be about you, but it sort of is. And this is where recruiting also comes in. This is your opportunity to share the support and the training that you guys receive from the corporate office, from your uplines, from your team, from your sponsor. And I think it's really important because a lot of the times we don't talk about, we say there's training, you're going to learn all the things. They're going to teach you all the things, but you guys need to share how you got trained or where you get your support from. Like, okay, guys, I'm about to wrap up my I story here, but you know, I don't know if any of you guys are moms or have ever thought about doing something like this. I also think it's really important that you guys know, like I didn't know how to do this in the beginning. I got up in elementary school to give a speech and I legitimately peed my pants um, all the time. Like it happened a lot. It even happened during my very first pure romance party. I did not know how to do this. And I think women just assume that we just know. Well, we don't. I actually got trained in this business by my amazing sponsor. 
She's no longer in this business with me, but she has been my rock this entire time. There's also a ton of support from the other women on my team and from the corporate office. They've got this whole training website. It's incredible. It's in, I don't know, multiple languages because we're across multiple countries, but everybody is here to make sure that you get the training that you need. There's a section on um, how to create your eye story, just like I did. Like I learned how to do this from a training video that I watched. So I just think it's so important that you guys know that the training is out there and it's not just automatic. Okay. So, and that's also a good kind of ending point. Like then you can kind of say, okay, oh gosh, enough about me. It makes me so uncomfortable to share, but I love this opportunity to just connect with all of you guys really quick. So let's just dive in to the fun part. Okay. All right. Oh, I'm like deep breath. So hopefully that gives you guys enough kind of talking points. Now, in terms of how and where to share, I said I would touch back in on this. One of the first things you guys, like I said, is this is your opening statement at your parties. However, as you get comfortable sharing this story, one of the things that I noticed in my personal business is that I don't have a big, long introduction I story anymore. That's how it started. But as I got really comfortable with all of my different talking points, student, student loan debt, flexible schedule, right? All of those different things that I knew that I wanted to share. I actually noticed that I could start sharing them throughout my party, throughout my virtual party, throughout my in-home party, throughout an event, but then also throughout conversations with people. So it didn't have to be a big chunk in the beginning anymore because I knew that I would share each piece. So as an example, I mentioned the aftershave as my favorite product, right? That was part of the reason I got into pure romance. Well, instead of doing it in the beginning now as part of my I story, I actually talk about it when I'm talking about the aftershave. When I talk about the main attraction, I might talk about how, you know, oh gosh, I love talking about this toy because one of the main reasons that I got into this business is empowering women to use products like this. And the main attraction is one of them. It was developed by a really badass female gynecologist. So it's got a shape that is suited for women. And one of my favorite things about this company is that they're really cognizant of designing toys for our bodies. And I just think that that is so awesome. And I love to be a part of a company like that, right? So as you guys start getting really good at knocking your eye story out of the park, please know that it's okay to split it up. But that also means that then you can start sprinkling your eye story everywhere. So where do you use it? When do you use it? Everywhere, all of the time. <laughs> if you're in a bar bathroom and a girl's like, oh my God, my boss, blah, 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 blah. You go, oh, girl, I'm so glad I fired my boss. And she goes, what do you mean? You go, oh, I used to work in the medical field. It was awful. Insert my whole section of my I story about how I hated my boss and I wanted a flexible schedule, right? So you guys will just notice that as you're out and about doing business, your I story is actually going to become a really natural part of the conversation. And that's all really powerful for you and your business and for future business, because women remember how they connect with you, right? They might think, oh gosh, yeah, Lucy, she's the one that worked in that medical field like I used to, or she's the one that straddled in student loan debt like me, or, oh gosh, she was the one with six kids that I met at that party that started doing this. And then what's cool is that let's say she's got six kids, you know, one day when she's at home with her horde of children running around and she's going, oh my God, get me out, 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 get me out. Get me out. <laughs> she's going to think of, oh my gosh, wait, I actually met that one consultant that one time. And she just did parties because it got her out of the house. I should hit her up <laughs> right now. She's probably going to forget. She's got six kids running around. However, the next time you follow up and you reach out with her, she's going to go, oh my gosh, I was going to talk to you. And you'll notice too, as you continue to do business, you're going to have these moments where they'll say things like, oh, I was just thinking about you, or I was just getting ready to reach out to you. But usually what they're wanting to reach out about is those point of connections. So you guys, in summary here, use your eye story to connect with people, to relate to people, to reach out to people, and to share a little piece of who you are so that they feel like they're doing business with a genuine person because they're gonna wanna be a part of that. They're gonna wanna support that, whether it's booking a party with you, placing an order with you, or maybe even eventually joining your team. So I hope you guys enjoyed this little piece. And then here's some I stories you guys can check out. Hi everyone, my name is Tina Connery and I have been with Pure Romance for about 20 years now. 
I originally joined Pure Romance because I was a brand new mom and I was looking for a little adult interaction and I just wanted to get out of the house a couple times a month for my sanity. Um, but then also that discount was not so bad either. So about four years after that, I became pregnant again. And because of a complicated pregnancy and well, an even more complicated marriage, I had to put my fun little hobby aside. Uh, after that, after I gave birth to my second son, I jumped back into the pure romance business, uh, but this time I was getting into it full time because I needed to support my family, me and my, my two children. So since then, I have made an incredible amount of money. I have been spoiled with some designer handbags. I have traveled all around the world. I have gained some incredible lifelong friendships. I have a ton of confidence now. Uh, I even have a home in the Caribbean, uh, but probably the most, I think, favorite for me is I have a very jealous ex-husband now. So Pure Romance has definitely changed my life and it could, it could change yours too. When I first started this business, I was a young mom with two small kids and my husband had a very demanding schedule. And the opportunity presented itself for me to actually host a party. Um, my husband's coworker's wife went on and, and joined on the website without knowing anyone and sent cards to work. And then I ended up with a card at my house and felt like it'd be the perfect way to get my friends together because I was spending a lot of time alone and feeling disconnected and kind of feeling sad. Um, so I had my party, had a great time, and at that party, my consultant said to me, I think you'd be really good at this, and I took that and ran with it. And now here I am 13 years later, and what started out as just a small side hustle has become my full-time job. This is all I do. This is what I do full-time. We are a two-income household. He no longer has to cover all of the bills himself. And I have the extra money for me to go do the things that I want to do for myself on top of being fully present with my children for 13 years now. They'll probably say that I was there too much, maybe a little annoying, but there'll never be a time that they can say their mom was not there for them. And for that, I am incredibly grateful. Okay, you inspired to dust off that I story, perfect it, right? Make it even better. And if you're new, get that I story written. I love the fact that Lucy gave us a quick format that we literally can plug it in and over time it can build as your experiences with Pure Romance builds. But next up, let's build some inventory. I think the team wants to give away some more free product and you know them, they're gonna make you work for it. They've got some questions for you. Let's see who's quick on the chat and who's gonna capture those giveaways. All right, guys, we're back for some more giveaways. I'm so excited. And I've got another hard question for everyone. Maybe it's hard. I feel like people know this next question. I, I kind of don't want to look at the answers to see if I get it. You should know this one. Okay. Yes. Okay. Well, so you ready? Question. Let's see. <laughs> so when is founder Patty Brisbane's birthday? Oh, I know this one. Yes, I thought you might. <laughs> it's always kind of around a big event um, uh, that we've been doing. So... It was rather recent too. I'm dropping a yeah. lot of hints. Maybe I should. I maybe should be like maybe you. just let them. Yeah, be I'll in the let chat. you guys answer. Yeah. Drop your answer in the chat and get a chance to earn fifty dollars in free product. So you want to handle the next one, Viv? I think I do. Okay, let's see. What is the top selling bath product? All right, this is an easy one. You guys have this. I feel like this. everyone knows this one. I mean, the, it's a legendary product for maybe a extra points if you add a scent as well to your answer the top selling scent yeah Ooh, a little twist there yeah i'm, I'm changing i'm shaking <laughs> it up you know how i be yeah i know it works out <laughs> so once you've got that answer drop it in the chat but we're gonna get back to the classes the amazing content that we've got for you at this booking blitz let's right. get back to cheryl take it away cheryl <laughs> Having a steady stream of information on your social platforms is a great way to keep people introduced to your business, right? And excited about coming to you as their small business owner that's going to be their go-to on a regular basis. But how do you create all those social assets? 
Well, we've got Abby here, and she's going to share the basics of Canva. Canva is a tool that has become super popular within our sales force because guess what? In just a few clicks of a button, you can create your own social assets that look so professional, and more importantly, they're personalized to you. So it's pure romance. Insert your name here, right? Um, so let's take a look, and if you are one of those people that are going to tell me you're technologically challenged, stay with us. We got you, girl. We can make this happen. Hi everyone, this is Abby from The Social Team and I'm here to walk you through how to create your own designs to promote parties on Canva. Now, if you have a Canva Pro account like us, you can find brand under your tools section and that's where you can add brand logos um, as well as brand colors, fonts, etc. So all you have to do is scroll down, hit the plus button, and it's going to ask you for a hex code. You can find all of our brand colors on the training site if you hit social, scroll down, hit design time, then hit pure romance colors and fonts. There you'll find our brand guide with the hex code number that you're looking at. So type that in to the bar we already have that color in there, but that's how you do it. Um, and then when it comes to your fonts, um, you can also head to our training site where we have our fonts and where you can purchase them and then download that font into Canva. So we use Javira and Belly. Once uh, you've got all of your colors and fonts and logos uploaded, you're going to go back to your home page and they have all sorts of sized templates for what you're looking for, from stories to Facebook posts, but we're going to create an Instagram post right now. And you'll find on the left hand side that they have a bunch of templates that are already pre-built and look really great that you can use. You can also go to elements and that's where you'll find uh, things to add to your graphic like stickers and charts and frames. You have an upload section where you can upload your own photos, text box, different styles and color combinations, um, backgrounds, you name it. It's all on the left hand side of your Canvas screen. But we're going to go back to templates and I found a couple that I really think are cute. We're kind of into the retro vibe right now. Um, so the first thing that I like to do is change the colors in the template to our own color palette. So you're just going to hit each icon and then go up to your color and select what color you want those to be. So I'm just going with the same kind of color palette vibe, uh, just making it our branded official Pure Romance colors. Once you've got that done, uh, you can go to uploads, hit upload file, and put in whatever pictures you want. So we have this great party picture, but you guys are free to use pictures from your own parties, from our website, a headshot, whatever. So if you click that, it's just going to go on your screen, but not in the box that you want it. So you're going to actually click and drag it to that box. If you want to crop it, you can double click, move that down to where you want the image to fit into the frame. After that, you're going to change the text. Um, you're just going to double click and highlight everything and change the text to what you want it to be. Now, I think that when you are promoting your parties, it's fun sometimes to put in a little review from someone who has hosted a party with you. So that's what we're doing here. Had the best night ever. And then two, if you wanna add any additional text, uh, you're gonna go to your text box. I like to just add a heading. And then you can plug in stuff like your contact information, um, your name, and stuff like that. Um, it's going to just come up black, so if you want to change the look of that, uh, you can just go up to your color palette again and choose a color. So, that looks nice and branded and fun. I would definitely want to have a party with you. Let's try one more. 
Uh, I picked this one too. Um, so again, I just like to go in and change all the colors in that template to save us a little bit of time. Um, I've already done that for us. So now all those colors are changed and you can start putting in and adding uh, how you want that graphic to look. So for this one, we thought that a headshot uh, of you, or in this case of Patty, uh, is a great addition to the graphic so people know who they're partying with. So there's features like background remover. If you hit edit image and then hit background remover, sometimes takes a minute to load, so bear with us. And when you hit edit image, background remover is not the only option there. I totally invite you guys uh, to get in there and look at all the other kind of different effects that you can do to your picture, like adjusting brightness, contrast, saturation, adding filters. Um, but once you have your picture in there, you can just change your text to whatever you want it to be. So, I'm going to scroll down because I have already actually changed all those texts and added everything in about partying with Patty or partying with yourself that you would want to add to your graphic. So that's a little how-to tutorial on how I do that. We look forward to seeing the designs that you come up with. Be sure to share it with us on social at Official Pure Romance on Instagram and Pure Romance on Facebook. Thanks, guys. Bye. All right, so I want another check-in. Tell me in the chat, how many parties do you have booked? I really do hope that you're keeping this in front of you, you're making those connections, you're doing that follow-up and you're doing the reach out even in the here and now. Hey, if you're gonna spend some time with us, you might as well get some work done at the same time. And you wanna know what you're gonna be really super excited about? You're gonna have some new products to promote. I know, I love new products just as much as anybody else. Tell me, tell me, who loves new products, right? Yes, that's why we love when Aaron Harris joins us from product development to share what the team has worked on and that's coming to you. Hey ladies, we are here tonight to launch three brand new products. We're so excited. Um, these are some highly anticipated products, especially by our POP members that have already gotten their hands and or eyes on them. So let's jump into some of the details right now. The first product we have is Odyssey. Odyssey is like a two for one or a buy one, get one free. You buy one product, it, it serves multiple purposes. So we have clitoral function here on the tip, two little clitoral nubbies here. You can turn it sideways, front to back, seven speeds there. Flip it to the other side, it's insertable with some G-spot action. Odyssey is $159 value on sale for $145 until Sunday the 25th at midnight. Um, went live today at noon, so be sure to get your hands on these, very limited. Let's take a look at the promo video for Odyssey and some demo videos from our consultants. an epic journey with Pure Romance's Odyssey. This dual-ended vibrator gives you all the options. Choose between seven vibrating speeds at each end, tease and touch with multiple tips on one end, or stimulate the G-spot with a curved, firm shaft on the other. And unlike Odysseus, it's bath-friendly. Whether your adventure lasts 10 years or 10 seconds, it will be one to remember. All right, ladies, so this is Odyssey. This little toy is two toys in one. Mama likes, cause you know, I'm a little cheap. So when I can get two in one, I am all about that life. So you have this side and this side, seven different pulsating patterns and speeds. Feature number one, this is gonna be a clitoral vibrator that is going to surround the clitoris 
and you can give some labia stimulation if you would like. This is basically a reverse rabbit. So instead of clitoral stimulators going side to side, they are going front and top. Who doesn't like to reverse it sometimes? We're gonna flip it over to this vibrating end. As you can see, it is curved to hit the G-spot. Every time I talk about G-spot, it's important that we talk about that curve to the front. In the vaginal walls, and you're going to rock it back and forth, back and forth, just like this. This part here, this curvature, great for some G-spot stimulation internally. If you want it outside, go for it. Stronger right there. It is bath friendly, it is USB rechargeable, and it has seven different speeds on the clitoral portion and the G-spot portion. Enjoy. And that's Odyssey. All right, so be sure to get your hands on Odyssey. And moving on next, we have Sweet Macaron. This product is amazing. Very cute packaging. It's got sugar and vanilla cookie as the flavors in here. Um, you know, I feel like summer, we're just leaving the summer season and summer's really known for ice creams. Well, to me, fall season really kicks off the sweets. So here's our sweet dessert for the fall, whipped sweet macaron. Its value is $24 on sale for $21.50 until Sunday, 9.25 at 11.59 p.m. All right, now let's check out the promo video for whipped sweet macaron. It's time to give your partner a sweet treat. Turn your bedroom into a French bakery with whipped sweet macaron. This lubricant combines optimal glide and bite-sized sugar and vanilla cookie sweetness. Whip up some fun and buy whipped sweet macaron today. All right. So our next product of the night is Tight Fit. We have never had a product like this before, so you are not gonna wanna miss this one. We'll hear a little bit later from the consultants have, who have actually got to test this product and they are over the moon about it. Tight Fit has 19 vibrating speeds and pulsing patterns, but the best part about this product is the shaft inflates. It actually has five inflation levels. So as you push the button, you can determine which inflation level is right for you. This nods to the name Tight Fit. Not only does the shaft inflate, there's also ridges along the shaft. There's a G-spot curve for the tip, so you can have a field day with this product just like our consultants did when demoing it. The value of Tight Fit is $189. This is like the roller coaster of all vibrators. $189 on sale for $170 by 11.59 p.m. this Sunday, September 25th. Like I said, our consultants had a field day with it, so let's check out what they had to say. Introducing Pure Romance's limited edition vibrator that's a must have for any toy chest. Tight Fit is a dual action inflating vibrator. The ridge ring shaft vibrates as a trio of clitoral ticklers give you pleasure inside and out with 10 speeds and patterns, all while inflation slowly swells for a new sensation that will have you popping with ecstasy. Have your fill every night. Ladies, this is Tight Fit, our newest dual action vibrator. Dual action refers to vaginal and clitoral at the same time. Why do I say tight fit? Um, well, it's expanding as we speak. Look at this. What? This also inflates. There's no other toy like this on the market. All I could picture is when you go to the gym and the bodybuilders are standing there and they see a pretty girl and they go, that is exactly what this toy does. Then you poke them in the stomach and they go G-Spot loves to be stimulated with strong pressure or even a tapping movement. Tight Fit is gonna do that as it expands and puts pressure and then releases. So as you inflate, you can choose to inflate more or deflate so that you get the perfect customized experience. Who else gets to customize the size of their partner? The clitoral portion here is amazing because not only is it just a bullet, but it also has three little edges here that are going to tickle and surround the clitoris and the labia, giving you an intense orgasm. 
all around. Tight fit with its vibration and expansion. I've never seen a penis do that before. This one is incredible, ladies. It is bath friendly and USB rechargeable. But let me tell you, this fit is a tight fit. Like I said, there's no other toy like this on the market, so be sure to get your hands on this. Again, a limited edition product that I know you guys are gonna be banging us to keep for around for a while. I love when we launch new products and the chat goes blowing up. Oh my gosh, aren't you guys excited, right? And there's some amazing items in there. So again, I want you to think about all those messages that you can continue to send out. That who do you know list, right? Identifying the people that you know, the new ones that have come into your world and your life. Who should you introduce Pure Romance to? Who would be interested in placing an order with you? Who would be interested in booking a party with you? Who might be interested in earning some extra money and coming and joining your team, right? Joining the Pure Romance community. So, you excited about those new products? Are you also excited about another opportunity to get some more free product? I am, I am, right? But the team tells me these are some hard questions. So let's see how you do. Let's throw it to Tori again. And of course, Viv, see what they have for you. All right, Tori, you are saving the best questions for last. I know, these ones are a little bit challenging. Yeah. I really like dug deep for these questions. These are gonna be hard to get. I, yes. I wanna ask the first question. Yes, be ready, everyone. All righty, give us the seventh question from the eight question game. This one, I actually had to go on um, training.pureromance.com and yeah. really look hard into this. You can find the eight question game and so many more great sponsoring games on our training website. So make sure you check it out. But this one it's is a, a really question. great game. I feel like a lot of consultants really love doing this. So yeah. drop the answer below. Um, we're really looking forward to seeing who comes up with this one first. It's a hard one. I, I don't know it. I really don't, to <laughs> be honest. I only know it because I recently looked it up. But I mean, let's go to the last question of the night. Are you guys ready for this one? This is also a little bit of a deep dive. Oh. Yes. So where is the first stop on the Live Alive tour in January? It starts January 3rd. Can you tell me? I bet people who live here already know this yeah. answer. Can you tell me where Chris is going first? It's, it's It'll a, be a party spot. Oh, yeah. I mean, I am ready to see some sun even though we'll be in the hotel the entire time. Learning some great things. Learning a ton. So what do you guys yeah. think it is? I mean, I mean, you kind of got, that's yeah, a big hint that's right a big there. Hint. So and drop you know how it I feel in about the hints. chat. <laughs> drop it in the chat and get that $50 in free product. That's our final question of the night, but we will have more giveaways tomorrow. So we'll see you guys tomorrow. Yes. They stumped me on one of those questions myself. I didn't know what the... I mean, I know the questions, but I don't know them in order, right? So I hope you got it right. Congratulations to those that are taking home that free product. I love it. Remember, free product is available to each and every one of you to earn every single month, right? And that is 100% profit that goes right in your pocket if you turn around and sell that product to other people. Or it may fuel your hostess credits. Haven't we had an amazing night? I think we have, and it's a great time to make sure you're checking in with those messages that you sent to people, right? And doing that follow-up work. Tomorrow, we have even more topics for you. Things like holding your own party, right? So if you didn't get any on the books, we're gonna talk to you about the benefit of holding your own party on a regular basis. We've also got a party demo that is coming your way so you can see another consultant talking about products. We've got hostess coaching. We've got so much more that we're gonna dive into. So all new content tomorrow as we continue our journey for booking for bucks. We appreciate you spending time with us. Pop a comment in the chat and tell us what your favorite tip was tonight. And we hope that we're gonna see you all back tomorrow. Thank you.